On the bench here, we have a Rev1 Amiga 1200, and it's got some issues. I have the Amiga Diagnostic ROM in it right now, and you can see that over the serial port, it boots up, and we're seeing video output on it, but now we have the menu. We should be seeing the menu on the video output of the Amiga, and we're not. When we run any of the graphic tests, as you see here, the video output is really screwed up. Now, sometimes it actually works where we see the menu from the diagram on the composite output, but most of the time it does not work. And the actual stock Kickstart ROM does not boot also, it goes into a boot loop. But look at all the glitching that's going on here. Now, one thing that's interesting about this machine is the Alice chip, which is sort of the later version of the Agnes chip for the AGA chipset, is not generating an H-Sync output anymore. That output is just low around ground. V-Sync is working and the composite sync is working, which is why we're seeing proper composite video, but you cannot use RGB on this thing. The scroll graphic test is kind of working, except it does this flickering periodically. And this is not just an artifact of my capture device. This happens if you plug it into a real composite CRT as well. The composite sync signal is completely perfect though. There's no issues with it. Oh, here we're looking at the raster test and you can see the rasters are working. This is the copper effect, but yet all that glitching is still happening on top of it. And then this is the RGB test, which if I recall has RGB, I think with some gradients and that's not working. And here we are back to that original 32 color test and it's less glitchy. Well, it's glitchy, but it's less screwed up looking as it was the first time I looked at it. So anyways, as I was saying, the sync signals are good except for H-Sync, which doesn't work at all. So you cannot plug an RGB monitor into the system. It will not get any sync because of that missing H-Sync. But the composite sync is working, so composite video does work. Now, if we go to do testing with the uh, IR, the VIAs, I just was trying to see and validate that definitely the syncs aren't working. And uh, it's getting an H-Sync or V-Sync signal on the first CIA. And uh, this is a PAL machine, by the way. And it will not get the H-Sync on the second one. That is, of course, uh, a problem, as I already indicated. Now, I cut the trace between Alice and the rest of the system, which includes the, uh, the second CIA there. And it didn't change the output. The output itself on the Alice chip is bad. Now, side note is the RAM test on this thing works perfectly. I can test all two megs of chip memory and it works. But as I said, I can't boot the Kickstart ROM or the operating system because I don't know, something's wrong and it just boot loops. And it's weird, notice how you see glimpses of both the text that should be displayed right now and also the other test patterns. And this was after a power cycle. So it's almost like the Alice is telling the uh, graphics chip, which I forgot what it is, Lisa maybe, to look through all of the two megabytes of chip memory. If you have any thoughts or ideas what might be wrong with this machine other than just the Alice chip being bad, please let me know.